Even as the world grapples with Omicron, WHO member states are already looking to the next pandemic. They've agreed to start negotiating an international pandemic treaty that's expected to come into force in 2024. The WHO is meeting in Geneva as COVID-19 infections surge across Europe. Omicron is adding to concerns. Dutch authorities say that the variant was already in the Netherlands a week before South Africa reported it to the WHO. Ollie Barrett joins us live now from London for more on this. Ollie, what lessons from the COVID-19 pandemic are going to be carried over into this new pandemic treaty? It's far from clear at this point. What we really have for now is an agreement to try and reach an agreement by 2024. Nonetheless, the WHO says that this is a uh, historic moment, uh, says that it is vital for its mission. Uh, and the WHO chief, Dr. Tedros, calls it a once in a generation opportunity to strengthen the global health architecture to protect and promote the well-being of all people. There is an acceptance, I think, among a number of countries around the world that international cooperation has not been what it could have been in the build-up to during uh, this pandemic that we are in at the moment. And so there is an acceptance that it could be better next time around to prepare uh, the world for future pandemics and deal with them when they arise. So that is what this agreement is all about. The WHO uh, agreement that we have today does set in stone a series of uh, checkpoints really over the next couple of years to make sure that that uh, agreement about future preparedness and cooperation on behalf of the, the international community through the WHO can be in place by that target of 2024. And while they're agreeing on you know, what's going to be in that agreement, Holly, Europe is already battling this COVID surge. What m measures is it going to take now to contain the spread of Omicron? Well, bear in mind that a series of continental European countries already had tougher measures coming in, uh, lockdown measures of various different types being imposed because they were dealing with a spike in Delta variant cases in countries like Austria, where you have lower vaccination rates than some other parts of the world. Real fears about hospitals being overwhelmed, fatalities rising as cases were spiking heading towards the Christmas period. Now you add to that the fact that Omicron has appeared and there's so much uncertainty to it, it really does raise the prospect about whether European countries will have to go even further. A number of them have imposed further travel restrictions, for example, but real uncertainty about what lies ahead now as scientists scramble to work out the possible impacts of Omicron. Here in the UK, a, a mask mandate has been toughened up. There are international travel restrictions which have been boosted with further testing uh, after people arrive in this country. The opposition Labour Party here in the UK says they're not going far enough and the government should be increasing mask mandates further, increasing ventilation in schools, increasing testing for people wanting to travel to the United Kingdom. The British government says it's got a proportionate response in place and is also massively ramping up its booster vaccination campaign and pinning a lot of hope on that. Ollie, thank you for that update. Ollie Barrett in London.